That right there, with a big old monster winch on the back. That'd be so sweet. We're headed down south to the town of Crescent. Uh, there's a tractor trailer stuck in a snowbank. I'm not sure how he's stuck in a snowbank, but he's stuck in a snowbank. So we're heading down there with the Zach lift to go see if we can get it pulled out. Uh, I know he's loaded. I know he's heavy. I know he's in the snowbank. So we're just gonna go hook some stuff and start pulling up some stuff and see if we can accomplish some stuff. That truck there also looks stuck in the snow. But that's not what we're here for, so we keep going for now. Got an accident up here. Looks like they got it loaded on a tow truck. here and uh, I gave him a four hour ETA we are dead on that four hours purely by chance because all I did was throw out a wild ass guess uh, that sounded like a long time and uh, there's our truck let's see here let's take a look at what we got going on I need that log skidder over there. How you doing? How you doing Good. Um, I think I'm gonna come in here and pull you backwards. That works for me. Uh, Cause it, there's a big snowbank right there that looks like it'd tear up your skirting if we go forward. Yeah. Yeah, no, I ended up, uh, my trailer tires weren't turning. They were just skidding. Okay, so your brakes locked? <laughs> I don't know if my brake, no, it's like one or two, one or two of them, the other ones were turning, it was like they were iced. Yeah, the brakes freeze up, yeah. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and get it started up and build up all your air pressure. Yeah. I'm going to get around here behind you. Got all this parking lot to work with back here. We got phone lines up there. Uh, that should not be an issue, but good to take note of. Okay, I'm going to get in here and anchor in and pull. Yeah, because it's a snowbank right there to tear the hell out of all that, so. All right. This is slick, slick ice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put my auto chains on. wait for this car who's not going to pass me apparently so I'm going to back up in front of him okay. I need to swing in there without getting on the same snowbank he's on I know I know you can't see but I can and that's more important right now Oh, I should probably lock my power divider in. Now I'm going to back up to his trailer so I don't have to pull the cable out nearly as far. And then free spool to pull forward. Go in, give me a little throttle. Let's go do this. Oops, fun cord. All right.
do what I should do before we get too carried away with like anything else. Since there's vehicles here. But I don't want to, whoa, I almost fell. I don't want to have drive through my winch line. Once I pull forward. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we'll use that one. We're gonna boom out past the underreach. Just let the cable lay over it. That's fine. Now I'll lock my free spool, pop them out of their hooks, bring the one I want around, free spool again. And now we figure out what we're going to hook to. Hmm. We're gonna grab, oh no, this is iced in. Pry bar. There we go. This box has been holding up really good. It's not wet in here because like this leaks, it's because I had this open during a blizzard, but this box has been holding up really good. Long enough we can get away with one, or are we gonna want two? I think we might get away with one. Depends on how hard we gotta pull. Now, did I screw myself and the hook doesn't fit through? I totally did. Rookie move. We have to pull really hard. I don't know how frozen in place all this is. We'll go to the back of the tractor chassis. I'm not pulling on this because this is making quite the veer angle, but that's okay because it's thin metal, so it wouldn't hold up to hard, hard pull anyway. Oh, that's not bad.
Turn on all your lights for me. Okay, trailer brakes are released. Yeah, trailer brakes are released. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull forward a little bit to get some winch line out and then I'll start pulling on you and I'll come back and tell you what to do. Okay. Free spool. And we're gonna go pull forward a bit. Where's my remote? There it is. Don't judge my truck. It's been a long day for the last... I don't even know how long. Okay. Tensioned up and not hitting anything. But if I was smart, I would dig my spades in first, you know, to like keep my truck still on the ice and all. Okay. I'll just watch if any of these people come out, make sure they're aware not to back through my winch line. Okay, release your tractor brakes. Put it, uh, leave it in neutral. Turn to the driver or passenger side, sorry. Right there. Okay, I'm winching on him. Okay, more passenger, right there. Hopefully it starts pulling his trailer to the side. All right, uh, pull your trailer handbrake. That's gonna skid it back towards my truck. Okay, now set your tractor brake too. when his wheels were rolling it was wanting to go off that way because he's turned but i had him lock up the brakes and then it slides to the center where it's being pulled from all right all looks good we got plenty of room so Let's see if he can back up where he's at he's got chains on okay release all your brakes Put it in reverse and see if you can back up like five feet. <laughs> Trailer brakes. No, everything's off. Everything's off. Okay. <laughs> no, your trailer brakes are. All right, now back up. Oh, there's not chains on the other side. Okay, let me pull forward again and pull you some more. Your other side is just spinning. There's chains on this side. There's one chain there. Actually, uh, is your power divider locked in? Your inner axle diff lock? Lock it. Yep. Now try. Now try. Okay, let me pull you a little more. Put it in neutral. Set your brakes. Listen. Set your
that your brakes? There it is. That's why we listen. Okay. Free spool. I'm gonna move forward. But it is a nice thing about big trucks, is you can tell when they set your, their brakes after you ask them to, because you hear it with cars and like in the off-road stuff and like that. You have to like double check and ask them and make sure. Ooh. I was not free spooled because when I set my brakes, I pulled out the air valve to the Zach lift unit and air is what operates the free spool. Whoops. I only pull tractor. Okay. Now we're gonna come back over here. Dig back in. And since we're pulling an angle now, I'm gonna lean my truck the opposite to counteract that pull on the boom, even though we're well in the cradle. See how my truck's now leaned against the pull on the boom? Okay, all his brakes are locked up, and I'm just pulling him, which is actually working out to straighten out his back end. Make sure these cars aren't coming over here. Okay, release your brakes. No, keep it turned. Perfect, right there. Okay, now straighten up. And that's how we make a YouTube short that will link to this video to help it get more views. Okay, set your brakes. I would imagine he's good from there. Okay, now put it in reverse, release everything, put it in reverse, straighten your wheels up, and see if you can back up from there. Right there, perfect. Just about five feet, just to make sure you can move on your own. Okay, that's good. Put it in neutral, set your brakes. See, we heard it that time. Okay, let's get under here and unhook. Alright, so I'm going to pack this up, get the building information from the driver, and then we'll see if he can get out of this icy parking lot. So, we may not be done yet. Alright, he's getting backed up and 
lined up over here so that you can aim for the exit. I just pulled up out of the way over here, turned on all my cool guy lights because I need to fix my mirrors and adjust some stuff on that truck. One of my mirror brackets is loose. I shut the door and it swings over on me. Let's probably fix that. Oh yeah, so he's totally mobile. All right, he's got a chain to tighten up, so, uh, before he leaves. I think he's just moving over out of the way before he does that. All right, I'm gonna go tighten my mirror bracket. I need close enough. I need to cut that zip tie. And we don't litter, so we're gonna put this back in our litter drawer we throw away later for our small little stuff like that um, this was all so nicely organized until I went down a really rough road at a not so slow rate of speed now it's a mess Top one. Here's this. It's all about just as tight as you can get them. Sometimes taking your bungee and running it through into another spot gets you a lot tighter. And yeah, did, I was just uh, worried because the other side started pulling back over on this side. I lost one over there that I ended up having to put away. Yeah, well, as tight as you can get it on the inside will stop that. I don't think this one's going to do that. Uh, yeah, but always try to get bungee on the inside of this one. Yeah, always get the inside as tight as you can first. That'll stop it from coming over. And then as much as you can tighten out here, like I said, it sometimes going through. And then it's something else to get tighter. One, that makes it tighter. Two, now you got multiple points with one bungee. It's so like that one over there, I spied it with a good bit, and that thing's pretty tight now. So you can do that with your bungees if they're still too loose. Okay, he's got, it's kind of a narrow driveway. Not normally, but with the snow it is. So he's going to try to straight shot out across the highway and swing wide on the highway, not here. Which is still getting real close to the snow bank. So... Oh, he's got it. No problem. Didn't even touch the snow here. Nice. Good job, driver man. Here comes a skitter. I need this thing. Check this thing out. This is what I need for a recovery vehicle. Tell me this would not be the best recovery vehicle ever. That right there, with a big old monster winch on the back. That'd be so sweet. Okay, I wish I would have the camera rolling earlier when I was helping do the chains. I was doing the chains, the reason I was doing it, not him, because he tried to get unstuck here in these holes and had some cardboard and stuff he put under, and that cardboard was still there, so what we were going to do his chains. He goes, you mind if I go clean up that mess over there? I don't, I don't want to leave litter. So, good guy. Got totally screwed up right there. So I'm gonna head out of here, head back home. I've got an hour and a half or so, maybe more with the roads to get back home. So we're gonna get going. 
I got all my mirrors and lights adjusted and tightened down so I turned the lights on so I could adjust them when I tightened all that. And uh, easy, simple, quick winch out. See you guys next time.